this Royal Platinum Jubilee year, there's one element that I'd truly like to be reinstigated into one of my favourite pastimes. So I wanted to share it with you and if you have the opportunity, do like and share this video with everyone because I truly believe that our monarch at 70 years on the throne simply deserves this respect. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have your company today. Now, if like me, when you went back to the theatre when you were very young, did you always remember the fact that wherever you were, they used to play the national anthem? Do you remember? Yeah, of course you do. Yes, of course you do. Seriously though, they did. I remember going to pantomimes and they would either play it at the beginning or the end. All the classiest shows played the national anthem. I remember, of course, a brilliant variety show called Variety Express and that always played the national anthem and it got a rousing reception because people would stand up and show respect for the monarch. So I recently wrote to all the leading major theatre producers requesting that I think this would be a very nice thing to do and respectful in this Platinum Jubilee year just to simply show some respect, a mark of celebration and a little bit of patriotism. You know, why not? You know, this is what we're here to celebrate. 70 years on the throne of a glorious monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. So obviously, as you can imagine, I haven't heard anything back. And this is from all the leading impresarios, you know, the people that put on things like Les Mis, Phantom of the Opera, all the big touring shows around the country, and pantomimes. Now, I don't know about you, but when you think about it, we've been told recently, oh, we can't have pictures of, of our gracious majesty, the Queen, in certain schools because they're interfaith or it may offend. And no, we don't want to distribute her history to certain schools because, you know, it's not necessarily what children want to read about absolute rubbish this is our history she is a history maker the longest serving monarch i mean you know it's truly groundbreaking so it wouldn't really be that difficult would it for producers i'm not asking to bring in a full 44 piece orchestra but to simply play a rousing rendition of the national anthem and these people don't even have to stand but simply wouldn't it be nice at the end of big shows you know, like they do with the Royal Variety Show. Now, as you know, lots and lots of people do use the Royal Variety Show to publicize their product. Yes, they perform for free, but they're performing on national television in front of royalty. Interesting, isn't it? When it's for their benefit, they'll play it. You know what I'm saying? That's the mainstream media for you. But on a serious note, what they should be doing is showing some respect on this very, very auspicious year. If you agree with me and you're a theatre producer or indeed planning to put a production on, I would urge you to consider doing this because it simply would be a very nice thing to do for a lady who's done so much for the Commonwealth, for our country and for so many people around the world. As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. And as I say, if you get the opportunity, do like and share this video. Let's get some of those theatres playing our brilliant national anthem on such an important year. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.